Hi, story time friends. I hope you're ready for a special story time because this one's all about, see if you can guess what it is. Oh, there goes a clue. Here comes another one. You're right, it's about our superheroes. <laughs> so before we start with our superheroes though, we need to get those wiggles out because I can tell you guys definitely have your wiggles. So everybody stand up and here we go, ready? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We jump and sing hello, we jump and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we jump and sing hello. We spin and sing hello, we spin and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we spin and sing hello. We stretch and sing hello. We stretch and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stretch and sing hello. Now the important one, ready? We wiggle and sing hello. We wiggle and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wiggle and sing hello. We sit down and sing hello. We sit down and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we sit down and here we go. Okay, for our first superhero book, we have Super Duck. Look at him all dressed up. We have the same cape on, me and Super Duck. Oh, but my tag's showing, his isn't. <laughs> here we go. Look at Duck. He's reading all about his favorite superhero, Super Duck. And there on the chair is his mask and his cape. Sheep and Frog are looking for Goat, but he's not in his house and he's not in his boat. I'm here in my shed, he cried with delight. Look what I made, a beautiful kite. Come on, you two, let's see if she'll fly. Now who can throw my kite really high? Me, comes a quack loud and clear. Make way, Super Duck is here. He reaches out and grabs the kite, then hurls it up with all his might. Look how high he threw that kite. It flips and flaps, it dips and flops. Then back to the ground, the the kite drops. A kite, says goat, needs more than a fling. Someone has to pull the string. Someone strong must run and steer. I wonder who that could be. Make way, Super Duck is here. He grabs the string and shouts out, go, then scampers off with the kite in tow. It flits, it skits, it flutters around, but refuses to raise very high off the ground. It needs to go faster, thinks Super Duck. I know, I'll use my super fast truck. Well, that should work. He zooms down the track with a bumpity bump and the kite at the back goes jumpity jump. It hits a bump with a thumpity thump and the string unties, then down it slumps. Oh, it was a good plan, but didn't work. Goat said, no, matter how hard you try, without any wind, this kite will not fly. Just at that moment, Goat's beard starts to twitch. Something blows up Sheep's nose with a tickle and an itch. It's the wind, yells Sheep. It's come out to play. As the kite takes flight and whooshes away. Help, hollers Frog. Hanging on at the rear. Oh no, they finally got it to fly and it took Frog with it. Make way, Super Duck is here. He jumps at the truck. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. Wait for us, cries Goat. We can help, yells Sheep. Grab the steering, quacks Duck. 
to goat in the in the back as the truck goes bumpity bump down the track. Oh, do you think they're gonna save Frog? Look at him. He looks really scared. The kite's too high, yells goat. It's no good. Take the wheel, yells duck as he climbs on the hood. It shudders and judders, but duck doesn't care. It teeters and totters, then then leaps in the oh he teeters and totters then leaps in the air onto the string which swooshes and swings as he climbs up as he climbs his way up with his super strong wings the kite begins to jiggle and thrash the tree wails frog we're going to crash jump shout duck as he lets go of the kite. And with a whoosh, the pair soon take flight. <gasps> Look, he's flying with Duck. Duck swoops and he loops, uh-oh. And he cries, never fear, make way. Look what happened. Super Duck is here, splop. Goat and sheep cry out, where's Frog? Oh dear, says Duck, who is stuck in a bog. He should be on my super cloak. And suddenly they hear a croak. Goat looks up and starts to cheer. Sheep swipes away a sheeplish tear. As shaken, stirred, but safe and sound, Frog floats gently to the ground. You saved me, he cries as he lands with a bog. Plop. I did, said Duck. I saved my friend Frog. Then Goat and Sheep run into the muck, shouting, you're a hero, Super Duck. Well, that was quite an adventure for our two, wasn't it? Good thing they had Super Duck there. Okay, now we're gonna do our two little superheroes. So I need you to put up two little fingers and two little superheroes are going to be sitting on, what shall we sit them on? Okay, we'll sit them on the wall. One name fast, one name slow. Ready? Two little superheroes sitting on a wall. One name fast, one name slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Fly back fast. Fly back slow. Very good. Now who liked fast superhero? Who likes slow superhero? Now I figured most of you would like fast. Let's try again. So let's make this one loud and this one soft. Two little superheroes sitting on the wall. One name loud. One name soft. Fly away loud. Fly away soft. Fly back loud. Fly back soft. Very good. <laughs> you guys. I have a really silly story for you, and it's called Charlie's Superhero Underpants. Because every superhero, for some reason, has super underwear. It's true. Like, Superman has his little red super underwear. Batman, little black super underwear. Spider-Man, he's got like a whole little red super underwear suit going on. It's just, that's just what they need. So let's see what happens. Oh, Charlie's superhero underpants. Look at Charlie, he is strong. One windy day around about the end of May, a great and gusty gale blew the laundry clean away. Socks and shirts and a woolly hat. But far worse than that was young Charlie's Super underpants. Oh, and look at them. They say pow on the front. As it soared into the sky and the laundry bellowed, flapped and swirled until it scattered far and wide to all the corners of the world. Oh, look, there are some floating in outer space, some in the sea. It's all over the place. Some at the beach. Though they searched for days and nights with boats and planes and satellites, they found no trace of Charlie's underpants. 
They had POW across the front in giant letters, black and bold. There they are. And GERZAP and OOF and SPLAT a little smaller on the back. Right there. You can see the back of his underpants. And villains would take fright as Charlie pulled his pants up tight, his scarlet superhero underpants. Oh, look, he got the, the key to the city. He put some bad guys in jail. Got some ribbons, some medals. Charlie packed some sandwiches, some sardines, and some soap, a Miro, a fan, a toothbrush, and a big brass telescope. Don't worry and don't wait, he said. I may be back quite late, but I've got to find my scarlet underpants. First, Charlie grabbed a ride with a band, a, a band and a balloon. They crossed the choppy canal to a bouncy, brassy tune. There they spied a fine French fox. There he is, wearing Sister Sophie's socks. What? but they saw no sign of Charlie's underpants. Well, they found his sister's socks. Charlie hiked across the endless plain of the Serengeti where the insects made him itchy and the sunshine made him sweaty. And there he saw a lion with a stripy shirt and a tie on, but no scarlet superhero underpants. Oh, that lion, he's very fancy, his shirt and tie. Charlie climbed and climbed up the plateau of Peru, where the breeze that blows at night makes you shiver through and through. And he found a pair of llamas wearing Brother Ben's pajamas. Oh, one has the shirt, one has the bottoms. But he could not find his scarlet underpants. Where do you think those underpants went? I want to go find some llamas wearing pajamas. Charlie searched the length of the mighty Mississippi through the Mississippi mud and the mud all sort and the muds all soft and slippy. And an alligator sat wearing grandpa's wool hat, but he wasn't wearing Charlie's underpants. You know, that alligator could keep that hat if it was mine. <laughs> Cause I don't think I'd want to try to get that off that alligator. I don't even know if I'd get my underpants off of him if he had those either. But I don't know, Charlie looks pretty brave. Charlie was fed up. He felt lonely, tired, and small on a steep and snowy hillside in the mountains of Nepal. Then suddenly he saw in that land of ice and cold a huge and hairy creature, something wondrous to behold. Charlie blinked and rubbed his eyes. It couldn't be. It could. Oh, what did he see? What? Look at that. Oh. And look what he's wearing. For there in, Char in Charlie's underpants, a Yeti proudly stood. Oh my goodness, can you see how big he is? And look, at he's wearing the underpants. How's he gonna get those back off of a Yeti? My underpants, cried Charlie. They're the ones I love the most. But they're mine now, growled the Yeti, and they keep me warm as toast. I'll swap you, Charlie said. You'll be snug from toes to head if you give me back my scarlet underpants. Oh, look what all he's giving the Yeti. He's giving him his long johns and a hat. He has to use a ladder. Oh no, look, he gave him the, the shirt and the tie that the lion had in the hat, but not his sister's socks. But if you can see, he has on the pajama pants. Charlie thanked the Yeti and pulled his pants up tight. They had pow across the front, so he had to put them on just right. He raised one arm up high and flew into the sky in his, in his scarlet superhero underpants. Oh, look at him go. Oh, there's the back. For zap, oof, splat. There's the tease in there. There it is. Okay. Now, we are going to try to be superheroes. So what I want you to do is, in this one, you're gonna to have to flex those muscles. Let me see those superhero muscles. Oh, very good. 
Okay, so if you're a hero and you know it, flex your muscles. There you go. If you're a hero and you know it, flex your muscles. If you're a hero and you know it, then your pose will surely show it. Let me see your superhero pose. You can do anyone you want. If you're a hero and you know it, flex your muscles. Good. If you're a hero and you know it, jump up high. Jump really high. If you're a hero and you know it, jump up high. Really high. If you're a hero and you know it, then your super pose will show it. Oh, do that super pose. If you're a hero and you know it, jump up high. Good. Now, let's try this one. If you're a hero and you know it, fly around. Fly around. If you're a hero and you know it, fly around. Ooh, look at you go. If you're a hero and you know it, then your super pose will show it. Let me see your super pose. If you're a hero and you know it, fly around. There you go. If you're a hero and you know it, run really fast. Let me see you run. Look how fast you are. If you're a hero and you know it, run really fast. If you're a hero and you know it, then your super pose will show it. Oh, let me see. If you're a hero and you know it, run really fast. Very good. You guys are quite the superheroes. Okay, so I have a really cute book and it's called Super Roar. Look at him. He is so cute. He's all dressed up in his little cape with his little belt on, has his initials for SR for Super Roar. Let's see what he's going to do today. Oh, there he is. Can you see him on there flying all around? It's kind of hard to see on the red page. It is career day in my classroom and it's my turn to speak. So look, everybody is dressed up with what they want to be on career day. We have a policeman and a fireman and a doctor. Oh, and a chef. And look who's sneaking through the door. What do you think he wants to be? I think you're right. I am wearing my superhero cape and belt. He wants to be a superhero. Hello, I am Super Roar, the superhero. A superhero needs to be strong. Look how strong he is. He can lift the teacher right off the floor. A superhero needs to be fast. Whoa, he ran so fast we didn't even see him move. A superhero can jump over tall buildings. That's really high. A superhero can hold the world in one hand, especially if it's a globe. A superhero is great at hiding. Wait, where did he go? You guys, wait, you see him? Oh, I didn't see him behind that plant. He's so good at hiding. Good eyes. A superhero tries his very best. So look, he guessed that the little baby chick belongs to the mama hen and the caterpillar belongs to the butterfly and that little tadpole belongs to the frog. And a superhero can fly, especially if he jumps off the chair. I am Super Roar, the superhero. Thank you. Look, all of his friends are like, yay, hooray, hooray. After school, everyone goes to the playground. That looks like fun. A fire hydrant has broken and is spraying water everywhere. Well, he looks like he's enjoying it, but those two, not so much. Super roar to the rescue. Oh my, can he drink all the water? A kitten is trapped in the tree. <gasps> Super roar to the rescue. Because I don't know if you noticed, but look in the bus. He has to, he, <laughs> he goes all the way up to the top of the bus. He like broke the whole top of the bus so he could hang out the top because he's so tall. Tall enough to save the kitty. I love being a superhero, but sometimes it is exhausting. And look, there's a the little kitty he rescued. I love being a dinosaur even more. Maybe one day I'll be an astronaut. 
because he can be anything he wants to be, just like you can be anything you want to be. And look, he has Star Roars poster on his wall. Space Roar to the rescue! And look what's in the UFO, it's his little kitty friend. The end. There's a lot of things he wants to be, huh? Okay, let me see. Can you guys put up your 10 little fingers? Who has their fingers with them today? Very good, let's do all 10. I have 10 little fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? Good, I can open them wide. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I can shut them up tight. <laughs> I can open them wide. I can put them together and make them hide. Where did those fingers go? For surprise! I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. Let's try that again, since I kind of messed that one up a little bit. So get your 10 little fingers. There we go. I have 10 little fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight and open them wide. I can put them together and make them hide. Now, where did they go this time? <gasps> Surprise! I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. Very good. This next book that I have for you is so cute. It is the, first, the main reason I wanted <laughs> to do a superhero story time. I read this book. You have to check it out at the library. It's hilarious. It's called Brief Thief. It's also about underwear. I don't know why. <laughs> Something about those little red underwear. But check it out at the library. It's really funny. And it is the whole reason why I wanted to do a superhero story time. Does anyone know what this is? Is it a chameleon? I think so. Let's see. This morning, Leon enjoyed his breakfast. Look what he's having for breakfast. It's a fly. That is not what I had for breakfast this morning. Did have a Pop-Tart and some other sugary treats at work, but not a fly. Not mine, Ugh, no. Then he sunned himself on a big rock. And now Leon has to go poo. Yep. He finds a nice tree to hide behind. There he is hiding behind the tree. And when he's done, he realizes, oh no, no toilet paper. Uh-oh, what's he gonna do? Leon looks around for something to use. Leaves, no, they're too prickly. Grass, oh no, that's too messy. But wait, these old underpants will do the trick. Why is there just underpants in the tree? I don't know. Well, they might belong to someone, but who would come all the way up here? And anyway, they're full of holes. So Leon finishes his business and then he throws the underpants into the brushes and goes back to his rock. So he just threw them right into the bushes after he used them to wipe his bottom. And goes back to his rock. Hey, who do you think you are? Huh? Wait, who said that? Yeah, you there. You think I didn't just see that? Leon looked around. No one was in sight. Uh, anybody there? He's, <laughs> he hears somebody. It's me. Your conscience. My conscience? Wait, what's that? I'm the little voice you hear inside your head whenever you get up to something naughty. But wait, I didn't do anything. Are you sure? 100% sure? Cross your heart sure? Mm, well, there were those underpants. Aha, now we're getting somewhere. And since when are we allowed to touch other people's things? What do they teach you in school anyway? Oh, look at him, he's looking a little worried. 
It was just an old pair of underwear full of holes. I thought they'd been thrown away. Oh, you thought that, did you? But did you also think that maybe the owner of those underpants could have lost them? Or that maybe someone stole them from him? Or that maybe, just maybe, he had washed them and gone off for a walk in the woods while they were hanging in the sun to dry? Mm -mm. Leon has a funny feeling the little voice is right. Usually it is. You know what you need to do now. Go on, scrub like you mean it. I don't want to see a single trace left. And when you're finished, hang them up too. Hang them up to dry and then get lost. Oh my. That little voice in his head. It's pretty demanding. <laughs> you sneaky little lizard. Wait a minute. It wasn't a voice in his head. Look, it's, it's a bunny rabbit. And he's dressed as a superhero. And look, Leon's like, Wah! oh my goodness. Old underpants full of holes indeed. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Do, 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 super rabbit. He's using the underpants as his super mask. And the leg holes are one for each ear and then he had to cut eye holes in so he could see. <laughs> Isn't that just the silliest book ever? I absolutely love it. So I encourage you to check out all these books from the library. You can get all of them there. So let's try. Another superhero rhyme, and it goes like this. So let me see if we can get this one right. Oh, wait, we need our superhero friends, and we have all of these ones. There's one, two, oh, three, four, five. So you guys hold up five fingers. I'm going to try to hold up all five of these guys. You don't like to cooperate very well. There we go. Ready? And it goes like this. Five superheroes ready to fly. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Here comes a villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flies up, up away. Good job. Let's try another one. So now we have how many superheroes? We have four. Four superheroes ready to fly. Here comes a villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flies up, up away. Oh, he did it. He saved the day. How many are left now? Did you guess three? You were right. Three superheroes ready to fly. Oh no, here comes a villain. Ooh, look at him. Stop that guy. Uh-oh. This superhero can save the day. Off he flew up, up, away. How many do we have now? Two. You're right. We have our two superheroes. Two superheroes ready to fly. Oh, no. Here comes a villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flew up, up, away. How many do we have left now? Just one. One superhero ready to fly. Oh, here comes a villain. Stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. So off he flew. Up, up, away. He took our villain away. Very good. You guys are doing so good. So everybody, Stand up again, because you're going to be a superhero one more time. And we are going to, okay, everybody ready? You got your superhero pose? Get all superhero-y. And here we go. Superhero, superhero, turn around. Can you turn around? Superhero, superhero, touch the ground. Oh, very good. Superhero, superhero, put on your suit. Get that shirt and those pants. 
superhero, superhero, put on your boot. Here we go. Superhero, superhero, jump up high. Superhero, superhero, fly, fly, fly. Oh, good job. Let's try that again. Get that pose going. You can do this, or you can fly, or you can make your muscles, whatever you want to do. Ready? Superhero, superhero, turn around. Here we go. Superhero, superhero, touch the ground. Superhero, superhero, put on your suit. Superhero, superhero, put on your boot. Superhero, superhero, jump up high. Superhero, superhero, fly, fly, fly. And can you fly back to your spot and sit back down? Good job. We have one more story and it's called Super Jumbo. Look how he's making his cape fly. I should have done that. I should have got me a fan to make my little cape here that I have on my back flap in the wind. <laughs> Maybe next time. Let's see what's going on with Super Jumbo. Looks like he might have just came out of the super potty because he's got some toilet paper stuck to his foot. Not really sure why. Oh, he's having a bad day. Look, he got his cape stuck in the door. Then the cat decided <laughs> he was going to lay on it. It's wrapped around his face. He can't see where he's going. What in the world? Okay. Well. For little Jumbo, being a superhero is not an easy job. He's trying to learn to fly, so he's jumping off of his stool. Think he might be trying to get those Jumbo cookies. He's trying really hard. No one seems to appreciate his super strength. Oh, look at that. He can lift a watermelon, but I think he might have made a little bit of a mess trying to get the watermelon out. Dad doesn't look so happy. Yeah. Or his super speed. Oh no, look, <laughs> he's going so fast. The cat's like, Row! he doesn't want to get run over. Or his expert crime fighting techniques. <laughs> look who found the cookies. But Super Jumbo is going to stop him from stealing them. What do you think dad's going to do when he gets shot with the plunger? And when his secret identity was discovered, little Jumbo had to act quickly to evade capture. You guys, do you see where he got his mask and his cape from? Mom's curtain. He cut out a cape and a superhero mask and why dad's distracted with that oh no look superhero or super jumbo grabbed the cookies and is running out the door but a superhero's work is never done and little jumbo had an entire neighborhood to save it's like he's got a lot of work to do little jumbo Defended the weak. Oh, look, he stopped all the traffic in the crosswalk so the snails could get by. And that's going to take a little bit of time. Snails are pretty slow. He helped those in need. There's that little kitty scratching on the tree. But look, little Jumbo thought he wanted to climb it, so he got him a ladder and stuck him in the tree. I don't think that was the kitty's plan at all. And he tirelessly crusaded against the forces of evil. Now this nice man is feeding the Thinks he accidentally dropped his popcorn or his peanuts. So he ran over, scooped them all up and chased the birds away. Again, great deed, but I don't really think that's what was going on. Because now everybody just looks mad. Even though being a superhero was a thankless job. <laughs> There's that kitty. <laughs> but nothing stops a hero from doing good deeds. 
Oh no, his little wagon broke. Does nothing stop a superhero? Oh, well, that did. Not even being faced with his greatest weakness. Now that might would stop me in my tracks right there. Yummy cake. Oh, but it didn't stop Super Jumbo. A superhero is always there to lend a hand or a push. Oh, but he helped his friend fix his wagon. Because saving the day with a friend. There we are. Can make the world a little bit more super. Oh no. What do you think is gonna happen to poor dad? Do you think they're gonna crash into him? I mean, it, at least they'll stop before they go into the water. Might push dad in though. <laughs> Super jumbo, he's so silly. Okay guys, it is that time of day again. I did our superhero story time. So let's do our closing song, ready? Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is over, clap your hands. The story time is done and I hope you had some fun. Story time is over, clap your hands. Story time is over, stomp your feet. Nice and loud. Story time is over, stomp your feet. The story time is done and I hope you had some fun. Story time is over, stomp your feet. Story time is over, wave goodbye, goodbye. Story time is over, wave goodbye, goodbye. The story time is done and I hope you had some fun. Story time is over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.